Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Call him like you like, how about Shimmy How Shine, by Shim Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who will peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole elect that are scattered abroad. To you, brothers out there pushing the truth with our righteousness and sincerity, and to the Aqua, the feast of the elders and learning to you, I say Shalom. Alright, this is the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, go willing to edify the faith the lands of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, through the spirit of Rakak, with that shall pray as let's be edifying and straight to the point. And it's going to be a little quick lesson, man, all right? I'm not going to make this too long, okay? And this is uh from End Time Headlines, all right, dot org. It says, Unraveling, France deploys over 45,000 police in an attempt to stump out revolt, all right? And you see these seditions that's happening across the world, man. All right, in France, man, okay? And hey, eventually, that's going to come here to Babylon, the great America, all right? So without further ado, let's open it up with a scripture, okay? Let's open up with Second Israel, chapter 9 and verse 1. <clears throat> Second Israel, chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in this cell, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I had told thee before, all right, so we measure the times, man. We measure these prophecies diligently, man. All right. So, hey, we occupy, we stay occupied in prophecy because, hey, we know what's going on. And we understand the will of the glory. How about Shemuel you know, Shai, man? Okay. Verse 2. Then shall thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And you're seeing that. And that's what's going on in France, man. <clears throat> and this ain't nothing new, man. All right, look what happened in 2019. It's happening again, man. Okay? Wait till this come to America, man. It's going to be 10 times worse because there are more guns in America than there are citizens, man. All right? When this stuff comes here to America, it's going to be times 100. Okay? Verse 4. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these things were spoken from from the beginning, all right, by the prophets, man. And they're back speaking it back into existence again. They're remembering, man. Okay? Verse 5. For like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. The end is being manifest, all right? And this is what Yahweh Shinyosha told his men to look for, man. All right? So, hey. This is what we see, man. Okay. Verse 6. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Okay. Let's go back to the article. I'm going to read a little bit of this. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, Riding across France appears to be less intense on Saturday as tens of thousands of police have been deployed in cities across the country after the funeral of a teenager of North African descent whose sh shooting by police sparked nationwide unrest. <clears throat> President Emmanuel Macron postponed a state, uh, state visit to Germany that was due to begin on Sunday to handle the worst crisis for his leadership since the Yellow Vest protest paralyzed much of France in late 2018. Exactly, man. All right. And really, there's, there's no, uh, hey, this is 10 times worse, man. Okay. So <laughs> they had to deploy 45,000 police, man. Okay. So, hey. It's going to get worse, man. And hey, imagine when that shit gets here to Babylon, the great America, man. It's going to be 10 times worse, man. Okay? It says, according to Yahoo News, some 45,000 police were on the streets to specialized elite units, armored vehicles, and helicopters brought in to reinforce its three largest cities, Paris, Lyon, and Mar Marseille. All right? There you go, man. There's a lot going on, man. And hey, when this comes here to America, it's going to be 10 times worse, man. Okay? And we're not far off from that happening, man. Okay? Let's read a little bit down here. It says, according to DNYUZ, French police said they were at war with savage hoarders of 
uh, vermin on Friday night as France was rocked by violent waves of riots and looting and about 1,000 more people were arrested. All right. And hey, when this come here, they ain't going to be able to control these people, man. Okay. Yeah, they're going to have martial law. They're going to have lockdowns and all that. But hey, these people ain't going to go for it here, man. Like I said earlier, man, there are more guns in America than there are citizens, man. These people ain't going to go for it. It's going to be violence in the streets, man. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to get bloody here. Okay. In France, <laughs> you don't have no guns, man. All right. And hey, that's when they're going to have curfews and all that stuff, man. You ain't going to be able to go nowhere. Okay. It says today the police are in combat because we are at war. Tomorrow we will enter reassessments and the government should be aware of this, they said. All right. So, like I said, I'm not going to read all of this, man. It's a lot to read. I put the rest in the description box, man. But, hey, that's what's going on, man. And like I say, wait till that comes here to Babylon. <laughs> what's going on in France is going to be ten times worse. All right? Here in America. Okay? And we're not far off from that. Okay? We are not far off from that happening. Okay? <clears throat> This is uh, 2 Nations chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against each other. It's like fight against another and swords in their hands, all right? And really, people going to be fighting against each other, man. You're going to have Republicans versus Democrats, conservative versus uh, liberals and everything, man. It's going to be a, a bludgeon out here, man. All right, when this shit comes here to America, all right, people going to be fighting against each other, all right, Egyptian against Egyptian, okay, Isaiah 19, too, let's get that, I'm going to come back to this, Isaiah 19 and verse, mm, I'm going to start verse 1, Isaiah 19 and verse 1, the burden of Egypt, all right, what's modern day Egypt, America, Babylon the Great, behold, the glory of Hashem shall ride upon a swift cloud, that's the chariot, man, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Verse 2. And now will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. So these Americans, they're going to be fighting one another, man. All right? We're dangerously close to that. We might not see a 2024 election, man. Lord willing, we don't, man. All right? Lord willing. Hey, when that stuff, when, hey, when that comes here to America, man, all right? We don't see a 2024 lesson, all right? And hey, and we believe, hey, that's what's going to spark everything, man. All right? Especially the crashing of the U.S. dollar. That's imminent, all right? That's coming close. These devils about to set up the NWO. Esau coming down with great wrath because he knows that he had with a short time. Esau, these are the elites. They need the chaos so they can bring forth the order, man. Okay? They need the chaos. Out throughout the world, man. Not just in France. All right. But throughout the whole world, man. Excuse me. All right. They need the chaos so they can bring the order. This is part of the elite's plan, man. Okay. This is all being done by design, man. Okay. Isaiah 19, verse 2 again. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city. Kingdom against kingdom. Okay. And that's coming. Okay? Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 16. For there should be sedition among men. You see, that's happening in uh, France, man. Revolts. Uprisings. Uproars of the people, man. People are fed up with their government. Okay? And invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are going to take matters into their own hands, man. Okay? Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Marshal law, lockdown, checkpoints, man. That's coming. Okay? Curfews. Verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil the goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, okay? 
And this is all what's coming to America, man. All right? Like it's happening in France, it's going to be 10 times worse here, man. All right? City's going to be burning. Okay? City's going to be burning. Town's going to be burning. People going to be looting, riding. Hey, going in grocery stores, getting food, and running right back out with it, man. All right? There ain't going to be no 911, no police to stop them, all right? <laughs> and like I say, they're going to, yeah, you know, these devils, they want the chaos to happen, man. They want the chaos to happen so they can bring forth the order, man, okay? Let's go to Luke. Uh, what's that scripture? Hey, uh, yeah, I just drew a blank. Okay, Luke 12 and uh, 49. The Wally, how about some young child? Just drew a blank, man. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Luke chapter 12, verse 49. I have come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? That fire is going to be kindled before your house shine returns, man. Okay? Verse 51. Let's skip down to verse 51. Suppose ye that I come to get peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So the Lord, how about some young Hey. He's the one that's causing division, man, upon the earth, man. All right, he's not coming back to bring everybody together, man, okay? He's coming back to bring division, okay? You see that's happening, all right? So, hey, <laughs> it's going to get worse before it gets better, man, okay? It's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better, okay? And the Lord, how about she on shot spoke of these things? And these things are coming to America, too, man. And hey, it's gonna be ten times worse. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm. Let's uh let's get one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Any time for this to be long. Okay. Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So these prophecies are no longer delaying, man. Okay. Where well, hey. Prophecies are happening, man. All right. We're close to this damn dollar being gone, done away with. They're about to bring in their CBDC, which is going to eventually lead to the MOTB, which is the C hip. All right. All right. World War Three. OK, you name it, man. So our salvation is closer than we think, man. OK, but hey, we got to go through these prophecies. And as a matter of fact, let me give another scripture. Let's go to Daniels 12 and 1. Because, hey. When that comes here to America, it's it's game over. Okay? Daniel's twelve Daniel's twelve and one. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect is gonna survive this, man. Okay? These times, man. It's going to get so bad that Mike Gog the Archangel is going to have to step in to protect his elect, man. The whole full elect, or when we're part of that number. Okay? So, we're heading into some critical times, man. Evil times. I said that was the last scripture, man. But I got to get another one. Ephesians 5 and 15. <clears throat> See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Circumspecting means to look around, all right, look about, okay? Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're about to enter into some evil days, okay? Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord and how about Shion Shai is. The Lord's hopeful leg, we understand what the will of the Lord and how about Shion Shai is, man, okay? So we understand what's going on, okay? And we understand when that gets here, hey, we going to understand what's going on. The rest of these people, man, two-thirds of our people, and the rest of these people in America, they ain't going to understand what's going on, okay? So, hey, get your mind right, man. Get your spirit right. Continue to fast, pray. Continue to watch, man, because, hey, we almost out of here, man, all right? So with that, I'm in the lesson here. I just wanted to do this little quick lesson. I didn't intend to make this long. I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakak Wadash, Devil Nan said the Elves and the Apostles of Great Millstone were well, shown once in a whole for let that scattered abroad. See with another lesson soon, Lord willing, Chrome Yashurala, Shalom, 
Wow, Papa Paul, DTA, Wow, Papa Paul, Sun Long Wing. We almost out of here. Shalom.